Hi everybody, how you doing? Uh, I'm John Callahan and I'm here today to show you Fract OSC, uh, a music game and a puzzle game. I know, crazy, why would you ever put those two things together? What kind of madman would do such a thing? Uh, turns out, kind of madman who made this game. Uh, so Fract OSC. This is a fresh start. I've played about, let's call it an hour of this, and then apparently it didn't save, which actually maybe works out best for, you know, everyone, since we can get a fresh look at what this game is. So, uh, starting off, things real quiet. Keep that in mind. Keep in mind that everything's quiet. It's going to be important. Let's start here. Let's just let's learn together. Let's see. There, yeah. Already off to a cool start. So yeah, this game basically, uh, I said music game, very synth heavy. Uh, you know, we're not talking like rock band, guitar hero, guitar freaks. That I'm having a uh, real ambient kind of synthy music stuff going on, wrapped in the shell of a puzzle game. Shell is probably not the best word to use, but I don't, I don't really know how to explain this game. It's just kind of something you have to see to start off with. So let's let's get right to it. Uh, so you know. Simple controls, you can run or you can walk. Immersive gameplay. Uh, I'm playing with a mouse and keyboard. You can play with a controller if you want, uh, but as you'll see some of the stuff I'm going to show, it doesn't seem like the controller is maybe the best way to play this game, but uh, it, you totally can if you want. You'll see it. you see right there. It's got complete controller support. Uh, so yeah, the first, first thing to really notice about this game is how, I mean, how visually striking it is. It's just a, got this real cool, look at that, look at that. It's got a real cool look to it, you know, real geometric shapes going on everywhere. Uh, stark coloring, kind of a grayish, blackish, whitish palette, and then these sparks of color come in when you start doing things with music, which as soon as I activate these three pillars, we should be able to start looking at. So I'm gonna run around and grab those real quick. Ba, 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 ba. You know, it's kinda cool how everything just flies. Uh, so yeah, so you run around, normal first person game, uh, and then you click the right mouse button, or I guess the right bumper, if you're playing with a controller, and that goes into interact mode. So in interact mode, let me blow your mind, you interact with things. I know, crazy, right? Uh, so you can still move around here. Uh, if you hold the right mouse button, you can look around. Otherwise, you know, it's kind of a locked position. You can strafe. And yeah, you interact with things like raising the volume level. And we lit up another tower. So let's go get that last one real quick. For some reason, I instinctively hit the space bar. You can't jump. I don't know why I do that, but... No jumping, just running. It's so quiet. So somber. So sad. There you go. Yeah, and then this happens. <gasps> what could it be? Let's find out. We 
We can't get up. Oh, wait, no, we are going up. Okay. Oh. So you can see the, the music starting to kick in. Kick in a little bit. Just a bit, but... Oh, yeah. So as you would expect with a music game, uh, the music in here is pretty incredible. You'll see it plays a big part in how the game actually plays. And you end up with some really cool stuff. Which we should be able to start taking a look at in just... Just a second. I think. Alright. So... Let's go... Nope. Uh, yeah. Alright. Let's go here. Right? Is that an arrow? Oh! Oh! Okay. Yep. Another elevator. Ah! Where do we want to go? Let's go. Let's go purple. We went blue last time. Yeah, this game just has a real, real nice aesthetic to it. All this floating space alien stuff. I assume it's alien stuff. Or maybe we're inside the music, man. Who knows? Sky's the limits. So these things, I'm not entirely sure what they are. I think they're checkpoints slash save points. But I'm not entirely sure. I want to say that's what they are. And we can't get up there or there. Can't get up here. Let's do it. Okay. So you see now we're starting to get a bit of that music t that musical flair. Oh. Uh, so yeah, this game kind of throws you in with no real explanation of what it is you're trying to do or how you go about doing it. I mean, it gives you those very... Ah! It gives you those very base, uh, you know, instructions with the interact mode and everything. But outside of that, like, I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing. What my goal is, let's say. Uh, huh. Well, I guess we are going down. Oops. See where this takes it. Ooh. Ooh. Alright. See if we can find a puzzle real quick. Oh. Not that way, I guess. Hmm. Alright. Alright. Let's head over yonder. I imagine that this is, you know, when people, you know, talk about doing acid and then watching The Wizard of Oz with Pink Floyd on, this is kind of what I imagine them seeing. Let's see if I can survive this. I don't know. Just these weird, oh, whoa. Yeah, like green orbs everywhere. Weird shit, you know. It's a long fall. Can we make it? Nope, no we cannot. God damn it. Okay. So let's Can we get up this thing? Yeah we can. But to what end? Apparently to no end. Let's go this way. Maybe that'll lead us somewhere. Alright. Ah. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool. Uh, nope. Don't go down there. Let's go over here. Follow the music. 
taste the rainbow. I'm no longer following the music. Let's follow these things. Uh, yes, you know, there's, like I said, I don't really give you much direction. You're kind of just, uh, I took a different path when I started this the first time, and I, I, you just stumble into things, or you don't. I mean, there's no, I don't know if there's a, like, a progression of any kind. I mean, there, you get things, which I will show off, provided we can find one. Provided we can find a, a puzzle, actually. That would be a good start. Show off a puzzle for this puzzle game. It would be helpful. Uh, but as far as like a story, I, th I don't think there is anything. It's just supposed to, you know, be, man. Just exist. I don't know how to open that door. Oh, I forgot I can interact. Let's see. Maybe I need to interact with this. Or maybe not. So I guess let's... Hmm. Hmm. I mean, if I had one complaint to lodge against this game so far, because I, I, I really do like a lot of it, but it's just that there is so... I mean, there's a fine line... Hmm. I'm trying to think of how best to phrase this. I mean, we live in a time now where video games are pretty... pretty hand-holdy. I mean, they're not super hard and... Most games tutorialize the hell out of what you're doing, to the point of annoyance. So, I mean, I'm not going to fault a designer for deciding to, you know, do the opposite. You know, I, I, the, less, the less I, you know, have to be guided along by someone, the better. But at the same time, there is a point where it's like, you could, you know... Give a little direction at least. That's not asking too much. Wait. What? Now I'm here. Now I'm here! Let's go blue this time. I don't I don't know. Like you don't you, you don't like for this game, you don't need to explain in depth like you end up solving the puzzles and it doesn't you know, it doesn't give you like clear cut answers on how things work or anything. But just, you know, a little help telling you where to go because this world is pretty big all things considered and as cool as it looks like it's pretty easy to get lost and just lose track of where you are and where you have been like right now like you can look how long has this video been you have not seen a single puzzle yet and then the first time I went through I found like three of them over the course of an hour I hope I hope it won't take me that long to find one. I'm hoping if I just run through and brute force past things, I can at least show off how the puzzles work. Because they are pretty cool. The way you use music to uh, solve and change the world is really pretty awesome. Like I say, I, uh, awesome enough that, you know, my complaint about this game... Okay, this looks like a puzzle. Probably, right? This looks like a puzzle. Okay. Okay. Can't do anything with that. Cannot interact with those. And I can turn those. But there's no reason to turn those. Uh, so. Looks like we found a puzzle that we can't. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This looks like a thing. There we go. Okay. Now we are in business. I have actually not seen a puzzle like this yet, uh, so we'll we'll see what this does. Okay, so you see right here, you're starting to get it. You're getting the music. It's happening. Um. Okay, there we go. Okay, so yeah, so you want to adjust these. You got the light flowing through, and you want to adjust the pipes so they feed through. And I'm assuming hit the purple things. That's what I would guess. You know, video games have taught me anything. 
it's that. Alright, so that looks good. Then we want to do that. Wait, yep. Yeah. And then that. Boom! Look at that! Solved the puzzle. Okay. And as, you know, you can hear it, as the puzzle got solved, we got this sick beat. Sounds sounds really cool. Uh, that puzzle was fairly simple. They definitely get tougher. I'm not gonna... Okay, so yeah, here we're gonna... So these, these are the kind of puzzles that I spent my time with so far. Uh, so here's a door, we need to get through the door. And how this works now is we have these bars. And we have a set number of them, and we place them here. And whenever the beat crosses over, it affects something. So our goal is to get those doors open. So let's try let's try this. Ooh. Okay. That's clearly not the solution. But that does sound pretty cool. So now we need to look at what we've got here. So Alright. Alright, so the top row affects the two on the right. Bottom row affects the two on the left. And it seems like the two on the right need... Oh, see, it's... Okay, in this particular one, you can't stack them on top of each other either, so you got... Well, I don't know, let's see if that works. I think I can get through there. Oh, maybe not. Oh, yeah, no, totally made... Oh, God, no, I didn't! All right. So part of the fun with these puzzles that I've found is... It's cool because even if you're not solving the puzzle, you're making cool music instead. Which is a fair trade-off, as far as I'm concerned. Like, Alright, so will that... Will both of those go up with that? Okay, so if we do, like, this... Put one more there, and then do that. Oh, wait, no. Well, let's try it. Seems like that window is too short, but yeah, no, that window's. So we need. Okay, so I think we need the back ones to go. Let's just reverse the order, see what that does. All right, yeah, I think I think that'll work. I think the or the doors slam back down. I'll have just enough time. Yeah, there you go. So then you complete those puzzles. And you'll see I unlocked base modulation. I know what you're thinking. What does that even mean? Well, that's a good question, which I will show you in just a minute. And you can see now we've solved puzzle. The world starts getting... It starts changing. Both visually and... Oh god, what's the word for... Audibly? We'll say audibly. I don't think that's the right word, but... That's what... That's what four years as a... English literature major will get you for getting basic words. Alright. So, let's, yeah, let's follow the red rings. Let's see where that goes. Probably do one more puzzle. So we'll do one more puzzle. We'll unlock one more thingy. I will show you the studio. And then, you know, I don't want to spoil a lot of this game. It's really something you should experience for yourself. Feel the magic and all that. Let's go. Oh. 
long pathway. Ooh, what is that? All right, good, good. Let's see what we have got here. So, oh, now we've got. Okay. All right. So I'm assuming we'll want the light to go through that stuff to... Yep, that seems all right. Oh. Okay. So then this affects the... The valves. Oh, Jesus. Okay. There is a. Alright, so yeah, that seems right, right? Because we want the purple ones to be lit. We've got that. So, oh. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Oh, God. You gotta click fast, and this is not. Okay. And then we're over here, where this beam of light has come. So now we need to adjust. Okay. Wait, so how do we adjust? Last two lit. Oh god, what if we have to mess with stuff over there? That would be crazy, right? That would be crazy. That's crazy. It's crazy and probably not true. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I'm liking where this is going. I know one thing is that people don't like people trying to solve puzzles. Because what's happening right now, and I can guarantee this, is that someone is watching, knows the solution, and is just screaming at their computer, saying, You idiot! What are you doing? Don't you know how to solve anything? And I'm like, no, no I don't. Because I am an idiot. I should have looked. It's a cool sound though, it's cool music. Okay. Oh wait. So we got it, so it's just... Uh... I'm not even sure what is necessarily affecting that one in the upper... Oh! Oh, we almost had it! Okay. Or just a bit there, right? And then turn that one, and then there. Look at that! Oh God! Listen to that dope music we created. It's great. It's great.
Okay. So as far as I can tell, like I said, there's no real story to that. Oh, we got one more door puzzle. Okay. Oh. Oof. Okay. Okay, hold on. Okay, so this is... This is the second from the left. This is second from the right. So this has got to be the two outside. Yeah, alright. So we want those. We want like that? No, we want... Oh, that actually seems pretty close. So if we can put one more at the bottom there, let's see what that does. I don't, I don't know. Let's try it. See, I don't know if this is gonna work, but that sounds really cool. Yeah, look at that, dude. It totally worked. Awesome. And we got base modulation three. Rad. Okay. Ah! Ah! <laughs> it's kind of awesome. Alright, so that's kind of... That's kind of the game part, I guess. If you were to break it down. There, uh, I have no idea how long this is, how many puzzles there are. No next to nothing outside of the base, this is how you do the puzzles. But that, so that's the main kind of basic gameplay, what you're going to be spending most of your time doing. Uh, and when you do that, you unlock, as you saw, like, modulations. And that's for the studio. So let's, let's go to the studio. Let's see what that's all about. Alright. So the studio. We're back here. Back in good old scary town. You know, quite a stark difference from where we were. I don't actually know how well this will work. I only unlocked modulations. But let's see. So we're back here, back in the studio. Let's start with this. So we unlocked those. Echo echo volume shake kick bend. Okay. So as you can see there's a lot of locks here. A lot of locks. And I don't know what you're thinking. What are all these locks for? Well Remember when I unlocked base modulation 2 and 3? Somehow that turned into this stuff. Uh, yeah, so the game you go through, you unlock different effects that you use in the studio. Which is right here, where we are. It's a fun place. And the studio is basically, you know, being a music game, this is where the magic happens. This is where you get to create, you know, your music. So we've... And there's, you know, green, blue, pink paths that you saw. Uh, we went down the blue one, saw a bit of that. So then how the studio works, you got this big grid, and you just you just start placing stuff. Make make music. And then See that already that already sounds kinda cool. Oh, I like that. So this is, when I said that this game probably wouldn't work well with controller, this is what I was imagining being kind of frustrating. Just, uh... Trying to do this with, you know, an analog stick sounds not fun at all. So this is where you lay your basic beats, and then you can turn over here... I'm not a music. I'm not a musical. Let's say musical person. 
I mean, I like music, I listen to a lot of music, but I couldn't tell you what half the stuff is. I don't know what bend is. But you can adjust it if you want. You can turn that kick up. Adjust the volume however you want. Really quiet it. Raise it up. Make it echo. Or make it not echo at all. Put some bend with a little echo, and then lower the kick. Put this one note real high. And, uh, you know, we're not going to see it because I clearly didn't unlock enough, but here you've got other tracks. Uh, you've got a green one and the pink one. Uh, and what you do is when you go down this other when you go down those other paths and unlock other effects and such things, then it opens these up and you can layer, you know, I can put this with, uh, I want to say the pink one had like, oh, what was it? Like, modulation, uh, like bass stuff. It just, it's just cool. It ends up adding a lot. And I don't know what the green is. I have no idea what the green is. But you end up unlocking various effects throughout playing this story. And then you can come here and mess around and make music. Music probably that's better than I will ever make. I like just doing this and seeing what happens. Then mess with this. Turn the echo down. Bend up. Little last kick. Max kick. Little bend. But you know, it, it, fairly robust, and I assume it only gets more so once you unlock all this stuff. And if you want, there's a way. You, know, you can clear it at any time. I like that. Now let's go back up. Go real low. Echo up. Okay, yeah, there you can hear the echo. Turn that down a bit. Less kick. More bend. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is a really cool thing. And, uh, don't exactly know. So yeah, studio, uh, you can sync it up to your YouTube and you can, you know, let's unlock studio. Oh! Huh. Huh! Alright, so that just unlocked... everything? Oh, wow! 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 What? Reset synth, save synth, load synth. Oh my god. Okay, so that's that's cool that they kind of just put that in there for people who are like, hey, I don't want to do this puzzle game. Oh god, what? Oh, Jesus. Oh, okay. See, now... Now my mind is broken. Let's more shimmy. Less echo. Get the pinch up on that one. Let's go to the green. Let's see what we can do here. Let's make the magic happen. Save song, load song. What's this one do? Let's make the colors shift. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I'm just twisting all the knobs. We need more gravity. Always need more gravity. Lost needs to be down that one up. Get some orbit. Mid mass. Echo down on that one.
I don't, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I'm gonna... Nah, I'll keep recording, whatever. And... This is really cool. I'm sorry, I completely lost track of what I was even doing anymore. Uh, point is, is that... Oh yeah, one last thing. So when you mess around in the studio, when you come back out here, this drab, dreary place is now going crazy with lights and changes to the music. So that's... that's awesome. Oh, I don't even know what all this is! Drop the beat, let's turn it up higher. Let's turn it down, let's, let's slow this one. Man... Switch layout, what does that even... Oh, Jesus! Oh, God! Okay, well, this has gone far beyond anything I could ever hope to comprehend. I don't even... I... It's... You know what? It's really cool that they let you just... mess around with all this... Like, if, if if you just want to mess around and, like, have a cool music tool, the fact that they'll let you just come in here and unlock everything is pretty great. Oh, man. I mean, I, I would recommend... <laughs> this is madness. I would recommend playing the game. The puzzles are really fun and cool, and it's an innovative game. But yeah, if you, I mean, if you want to just get in here and mess around and make music, I guess you can do that. And like I said, you can you can go here and you can export everything, you can record, you can do whatever you want. Share that stuff. Make music, it's beautiful. Stop recording. Uh, yeah, so this is... I don't even... I don't even know what I'm doing. This is madness. Modulate frequency. Okay, I can lose hours here. Uh, so this is Fract OSC. It's out now on Steam. Fifteen dollars. Uh, I think it's well worth the money. I hope you do as well. Uh, it's a fun game. It's a fun game, and a pretty incredible music creation tool, it seems. So, there you go. Thanks for watching, and... It's just drown in the beauty. I... <laughs> Alright. Goodbye.